don't know, 66 shots on goal and 33 goals or whatever, I don't know the numbers exactly, but before we had the same number of chances or even more and didn't score. So um, we had, didn't have to change a lot, but we have to, we, we have to, to, to change a few very decisive things. And that is the, the main focus is on defending as a team. It, it was our job, it will never end probably, it will never end, but um, it's our job to, to make sure that you don't discuss all the time our defense. It's because it's not, the problem was never. Our defense, yes, in single moments, but you cannot talk about 500 situations in a game and you talk about always about one or two situations. We had to sort it as a team. And um, that's the best thing. In the last game, the door opener was the first goal, of course, and but the second goal was a team goal. It was defending together. It was a pass which we forced from them and we, was, we won the, pa the ball, Sadio, pass, pass goal. So for me, for the world, the, most, the, the nicest thing is how we finish it. For me, the nice thing is how we win the ball in this moment because we are compact, one it up, but but still compact, uh, and that's what we have to be. And um, so, um, I'm not sure was it easy, was it difficult. It was just a job we had to do. And um, after Tottenham, for sure, we need to show a reaction. Um, but it's now long ago, and um, we have to we have to carry on. There's no doubt about that because um, all what we again what we are talking about is the uh, is the past, and we have to we only have influence on the future and the next. The future is Everton, and we have to be ready for that. Mike? Jürgen, how different a proposition do you think Everton will be than they, they may have been 10 days ago with the new manager? And as a consequence, how different will your strategy be? I had a home game against West Ham, right? Before Sam. Sam was in the stands, I think. Um, yeah. Um, there's no doubt about the quality of Everton. It was kind of a negative run. It was um, no results, no confidence at one point, and they not sure, but they needed a kind of a change. They can only, or they thought they needed a, a change. That's what they did. It needed a little bit of time uh, to, to to get it. But we all know that Everton is, if it's not top six, it's a top seven team. Then usually, and that makes it really difficult. It's a fantastic club, and um, so um, I. Don't know how big the difference is because I didn't watch a lot of games five weeks ago. Now I saw the last four. That's uh, that makes it that makes it um, really different then. And they are in a good moment and they gain confidence. They scored the goal of the season probably. Wayne, nice one. And um, so a lot of positive things. A good in park in the moment, and um, that I have no problem with that. They can win all the games over the season apart from the games against us. That's all it is. <coughs> This is your fourth Merseyside derby. Has the the occasion matched what your expectations were of it? You know, as as somebody who knew about the Merseyside derby, watching from afar, but now that you're part of it, has it lived up to that? Has it gone beyond what you expected? What's it like for you in terms of the intensity of it all? The last, the, I saw the I saw the Merseyside derby at Everton, the one-one draw before I came. To Liverpool, I think it was the week before I, before I, signed as a manager, and um, so it's always um, it's. I'm not sure. I don't have. A, I didn't have a lot of expectations to be honest. I didn't think a lot about it. So, but it's, it's a derby and, and at its best, and it, I, I like it. And um, so far, how I realized it, there's a lot of respect between the two clubs, and I really like that. Uh, to be honest, I, we don't in the game. Yes, still respect, but try everything to win it. Try everything. But around the games, we, are, we live in one city. And there's enough space, obviously, for, for, for supporters of both clubs. I know, meanwhile, a lot of Everton supporters. You, you meet them um, all day around the club. And um, so that's um, absolutely OK. I have no problem with that. But in the game, I want to see only us at our best. On Wednesday, you said that Jordan will play 100 percent. Will play in this one, having missed the the game Sparta, which was an important game. Is it a sign of the times that even your captain has to get used to being rotated when necessary? I think it's. A, it's I'm not sure if it's English or it's old-fashioned or whatever. You, even a captain cannot play all the time, so that's how it is. It it is like this. You cannot bring him only because the armband, he's in a good moment, he's in good shape, but for this game I made a decision for that and I thought it makes really sense in these kind of weeks, not that I, that it I planned, but you need the players on the pitch they want know 100% in a derby what's about. So it's um, 
that makes sense, I would say. And um, so it was, I made the decision for last week, and I only spoke about it because I knew that um, people will find out, oh, yes, fantastic game. Jordan didn't play, so make a, a shit story of it. And um, so I tried to, to put a story. Um, but there are shit stories, so I cannot change that. Um, tell me another word for it. Yeah, yeah. There you are. are you? Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, so um, he's such an important player for us, and um, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I don't get it why I have to, to say that, but I, I'm, I, I live in the city and I live um, here, and I know, obviously, I get it a little bit how people sometimes are talking about, and um, being a skipper of Liverpool is the hardest job in world football because the man who had the armament before is Steven Gerrard. So, sorry he finished playing football and it's now that we, we cannot get him back. So, that's really, and I want that everybody respect it, that Jordan Henderson is our skipper because he deserved it, because the right man for the job and all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that he can't play all the games until he's injured, though. That's, that's how it is. And so, actually, it's no story, but in England, especially in Liverpool, it is a story and that I said a little bit about it. Story done. Yes. Yeah. Jürgen, I just wonder if you could compare the derby here to the Dortmund Schalke one, and if you think there is a difference because here both teams are coming from one town. That's a difference, and that's a big difference. And, and to be honest, uh, in in the game, um, Dortmund and Schalke has uh, two fantastic. Stadiums, so both in both stadiums, it's, uh, the, the, the atmosphere and always in the the legal, everything is legal and no um, things you don't want to have around uh, around the derby. Then the atmosphere is always outstanding, and um, that's how it is, and that makes it special. But the biggest difference is they are not in one town; they are only close to each other, and that's here. And uh, here we we all live together in one town. And how I feel it, the respect is much higher here from one club to the other than it is between Dortmund and Schalke. So I know people, they never, it's only 30 miles or 25 miles away apart from each other, they never were in Gelsenkirchen, where Schalke is at home, or in Dortmund, when you, only for the games, or not even for the games, they really try to drive around. So that, um, that, that's, that's how it is. As long as, it, uh, as we, we, we battle on the a, on a, on a football pitch, I love it. All the battles around, I don't like, to be honest, because I think life is too short to do things like this, and um, that's it. Thank you very much.